Hey, it's me, C, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, today we will be talking about the annoying, trifling Instagram brands that stay up in our comments, stay in our DMs, trying to scam us. I'm done. I'm over it. Like, y'all don't understand. I always get, like, little comments or DMs from these random brands about how my feed is so amazing and how, oh, I take lovely pictures. And mind you, I, I know I do. I know I have a good feed. If you don't know, go to my Instagram right now at piecesof.c on Instagram. But that's beside the point. Like, lady or guy, where did you come from? How did you find my page? A hashtag? A search? What? Like, leave me alone. And even though I know most of the times these brands are spamming or fake accounts or whatever scamming, being an influencer or a content creator, you want to get brand deals. So, of course, when you see that, you're going to click and you're going to look into it just a little bit and try to, you know, feel it out, see if it's real, see if it's not. And regardless of the stigma around being a social media influencer or a content creator or whatever the case may be, everybody wants to be able to get a check by posting. Like, I don't care what anyone says. If you post on Instagram just for fun, yeah, most of the time it is just for fun, but who wouldn't want to get a check for posting? Like, hello, no brainer. And when I say stigma around being like a social media influencer or a content creator, what may have you. I just mean like the people who see like Instagram influencers as just, oh, they post on Instagram and they thirst trap if you're a girl or some guys, whatever the case may be. Like it really is much more than that. Like for the women out there or guys that post themselves and like nice lingerie that could be Fenty lingerie that's a check so don't be judging girls out here that are posting um a little bit more provocative or I don't want to use the word provocative they're posting and their body might look good so guess what they're using what they have that's none of your business everybody wants a check but we're not really here to talk about the stigma of being a social media influencer, content creator, public figure, whatever. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about these Instagram brands. Now, let's just start off with the official definition of a brand ambassador. A brand ambassador is a person hired by an organization or a company to represent that brand and bring a positive light to that brand while driving sales. And now that everyone has granted the opportunity to build their own platform. Everyone has an opportunity to be a brand ambassador for anybody. Now, there are many different ways to become a brand ambassador. You could seek after the brand or the brand could seek after you. And through social media, it makes things a lot easier because everyone has the opportunity to kind of build a platform and build a brand which is why it is important for your feed to look nice and clean and properly 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 represent you now whatever your brand is is what your brand is like it doesn't matter as long as it is really reflecting and representing you and what you have to offer that's is what's important so Although when you are asked or accepted um, to become a brand ambassador for a company or an organization, most of the time um, that brand will, you know, supply you with their goods or whatever it might be that they would like you to promote free of charge. But there are some smaller brands who will kind of collab with you okay so the difference between collabing with the brand and being a brand ambassador typically is the form of payment or what you're getting out of the deal now if it's a situation where you're getting like oh here's my coupon code use pieces of seed for 15 percent off and some commission is going back to me that's typically um collaboration 
if you're not receiving any products for free. Like if I go on a certain website and I have a special code for brand ambassadors where I get, let's say, 30% off, I'm not getting anything for free. I'm just getting it at a discounted rate and then I'll promote it. Does that make sense? Because that's what a lot of brands are doing. A lot of the smaller brands, I will say. Which makes it so easy for fake brands to become super believable and allow you to fall for it. Any business page can have a sponsored or ad post, um, which is what drives the traffic to it so that we can actually see it and click on it like, hmm, okay, what's this? Or they'll come in our comments and then we'll see it later on. Like, okay, I just saw that maybe they're official. No, that doesn't mean they're official. And because this has happened to me like so many times, I've been able to kind of figure out like the differences and how to decipher whether this Instagram brand is real or fake. First things first, check their following. Now, anybody could have however many followers. Uh, let's just say they have 100K followers, right? Next thing you want to do is check their engagement. If they have 100K followers and they only have, like, let's say a couple hundred likes or their engagement, like their likes and comments are super low, mm, that's not really adding up. So make sure you pay attention to that. Next thing you want to do while you're on the page is check their tagged photos. You want to scroll through and see if there are any influencers or any people um, tagging their goods in their pictures. If you don't see that or if those accounts look like spam accounts, um, take note. The next thing you want to do is click that link in their bio and check their website. If the website looks, let's say, cheap, let's say unprofessional, let's say trifling, nine times out of 10, they're a fake Instagram page. Um, it's not that hard to build a website, to be honest, but if the Instagram brand looks super unprofessional as far as their website, nine times out of 10, it's not real. If they have a whole bunch of pictures of like, random girls that you can easily google like think of it as like catfish like you can copy and paste that picture and put it into google see how many different times it pops up see what website it actually goes to now you don't have to go through all this but i'm just saying i'm a creep so i do things like that whatever another way these instagram brand ambassador accounts are trying to scam you is that they'll come from another page that says like brand ambassadors for blah 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 or let's say like Fashion Nova brand ambassadors page. Like they do different things like that, whether it be with larger or smaller brands to try to like they trust you, make you trust it a little bit more. But that doesn't mean it should be trusted at all. If there is not a blue check, if there is not a blue check and they say like, let's say they say Urban Outfitters brand ambassadors, it's not real. If their name or if that instagram name is not in the bio or somehow linked to the official um urban outfitters account instagram account it's not real okay so let's get into some things so there is this instagram account called for her wardrobe underscore right and their ambassadors page dm'd me on july 6th and says hello babe hard eyes we would love to work with you. We love your style and you are fitting for our brand at For Her Wardrobe. Let us know if you'll be interested to discuss more details. So before I even respond, I went on their page and it looked kind of like, mm, I don't think this is real, but hey, let me, let me just go with it. Let me just see what would happen if I did order from one of these like spam Instagram things. So I go, thank you for checking my IG feed. I would love to collaborate with the brand. Please email me all of the details at piecesofc at gmail.com. Now, anytime a brand is asking to collaborate with you via DMs or in your comments, you always want to direct them to your email just for professional reasons. Um, if they try to keep it in DM, that's how you know it's also a scam, like this company just did. Amazing, babe. We 
What did it say? Amazing, babe. Well, we can offer you a discount to order from us one item in return. You receive four items for free. I'm no dummy. I knew this was fake, but I, like I said, kept going, going with it just to see, like, you know, it was really good. So I liked it. And, I, and then they say, after the first trial, we can offer, offer you free weekly items and a discount code to share with your followers and to get paid when everyone used your discount. First of all, whoever typed that is fucking stupid. Like, that's unprofessional. Anyway. So I go, oh, sounds amazing. How do I sign up for a discount code? They go, perfect. We can start sending a what? Perfect. We can start send us screenshots of your favorite five items with sizes. After we can send you a discount to order at forherwardrobe.com. Okay. So like I said, I was like, yeah, let me just go and see what's good with this place. Let me just, you know, whatever. I, I screenshot it and sent them the couple items that I would be interested in. And like I said, I have an online shop and I know when these pictures are taken from like, let's say a wholesale place or um, a different company and put on the website. Like, and that's another thing. If you're a small um, brand like a boutique or clothing line or anything like that, it's really important to use your own stock photos. Um, but like I said, we'll get into the logistics of those sort of things at a later date. So once it's time for me to place that order, um, they say, please use free wine for free shipping. All right. And then they give me these directions as to, you know, how to create or finish the purchase and all that other shit. And I'm just like, okay, now I know you're sitting there asking me like, if you know what's a scam, why'd you do it? Because I just really want to see like, what's good. Like how far would this actually go now? Might be a little risky, but it was ten dollars. Like ten dollars, that's some Chipotle money, and whatever. So, needless to say, it was a scam. And time went by. I followed up. I said, "Hey, um, where's my tracking, um, my tracking number, or where's this, or where's that?" Like they went as far to send like a confirmation email, like all of that stuff. Like it literally, as far as the website and all that stuff, like and like the follow up. That was semi legit. So time goes by, and they're like, "Oh well, shipping is backed up right now." Da -da 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 -da, whatever the case may have you. So I gave it a little while longer. I emailed them, right, like a couple weeks later, because I honestly forgot about it. I emailed them, and I said, "Oh, still no tracking number. Still no this. Still no that. I need an update about my purchase." Yo. Do you know I got a bounce back from the email? The email, no longer. No longer. The website, down. Like, oh. I was like, oh, oh, okay. I guess they scammed all they could scam for this month or this fucking year. I don't know. But whatever. So I go to Instagram. I said, oh, hey, something's wrong with your email address. Something's wrong with your website. Da -da -da -da. At this point, I'm like trolling like whatever and literally no response like the instagram account literally does not even exist so when you go to the um actual clothing brands instagram they haven't posted since like around july um uh, when i had did the order or whatever the case may be and i dm them and still no response so i'm like okay well it's just ten dollars like i really don't care so i call my bank and i reported it for fraud <laughs> just because not because i wanted my ten dollars back but just because i wanted to report you for fraud like and now you're going to be investigated so to the little have fun and i reported their instagram page like 12 times because like you're annoying so that was a little instagram scam story time um if you will but yeah uh, my bank gave me a little ten dollars back and whatever i want them back with them but that is just one example of how a brand or a fake brand will try to come after you just because you are promoting yourself to be a content creator or influencer or whatever it is that you're trying to be. And these Instagram brands kind of scamming the consumer or scamming different influencers 
Um, and it hurts smaller brands like myself when it comes to having the consumer trust us and how do I know if this is a legit thing and da 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 da. Um, there are real Instagram brands out there. Um, just have to really do your research. Like today, I am wearing MXC Exclusive, which is my clothing line. I designed this sweatsuit. If you like it, go to the MXC shop com and purchase yours we have stuff for the ladies and stuff for the men's you know so yeah like i really love this sweatsuit it was really comfy and no i didn't just wear it for this video i really be wearing my stuff all the time period poo i just talked the hole in y'all head i know i'm sorry but i really be am passionate about this stuff so I hope you were enlightened a little bit about the whole Instagram brand ambassador or being an Instagram influencer with these brands. If you have any other questions that I didn't really add in there, feel free to contact me, DM me. Um, I can help you out a little bit. And like I said before, I don't want to discourage anybody from trying to be a brand ambassador with a smaller brand because I do it. Like I've definitely done it and I will do it again. But just be careful and beware and be mindful of what you're signing up for and different things like that. If you need help deciphering if a brand is real or fake, hit me up. I'll look into it for you. I'll help you. You know, that's what we are here for. This is a community. This is a safe space. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like my sweatsuit and let me know what you thought of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your granny, share with your daddy, share with your baby daddies, share with everybody. See you in the next video.